Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home in here? Trick or treat. <laughs> Guys, what a party last night. It's too bad you couldn't go. Uh, uh, I mean, well, there's always next year. You, you didn't miss much. No, it wasn't that bad, Cliff, really. It wasn't that bad. I know you had to work, and uh, my buddy over here didn't have a costume to wear, so, I mean, you can't really go to a costume party without a costume, right? I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, of course you agree. Uh, let me get that door. I'll tell you about it. Well, actually, it wasn't that good. It really wasn't that good. It wasn't, it wasn't very good. Uh, well, it was... It was actually pretty awesome. In fact, I won first place in the costume uh, contest with my mafia suit. Everybody loved it. Huge, huge hit. And uh, I won a bunch of gift bags for it. So uh, actually, you know what? Let me get those gift bags out. But before I do, I'm going to put my PJs on because this thing is very, very scratchy and a little smelly. So hold on a sec. Uh, hey, dude, close those eyes. Close them. Thank you. All right, you can open them now. And don't laugh at my squid shirt. It's not my shirt. I got it from Wallace, the pirate. All right, so come, anyway, come on out here. Come out here. Climb out of that bunk bed. So nice that you guys moved us into the bunks now that we uh, we have some ranking. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get these gift bags out. I want to show you all the goodies I got. Hold on a sec. Let me, let me get them out of my... Huzzah! 12 Halloween gift presents for first place in the costume contest. It was so worth it going up to Kravia State and, uh, and risking my neck for that Mafia costume. Because this is what we got. We also got a Halloween cape and Halloween bottom that uh, we, someone gave us. Anyway, let's open them up. Let's start with this one right here. Let's check the contents. Ready? 3, 2, 1, unwrap! Oh man, I want the calling card. I want the calling card. No, we missed. Drat. What do we got here? Mummy hat. Mad scientist goggles would be cool. And, oh, I got the Frankenstein bolts. Uh, vampire cowl. Awesome. It's an epic vest. Sweet. Put it on. <laughs> nice. All right, let's do another one. Unwrap. Mad scientist top. Yes. Cobweb military knife. Oh, I wanted that one. Yes. Cobweb calling card. <laughs> Woohoo. Let's go for another one. Unwrap. No, 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 don't you dare. Yes, yes. Ooh, mummy top. Oh, I like it. Let's put that on. It actually matches my PJ bottoms. And I've got to give that shirt back to Wallace anyway, right? Look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, if we get the whole mummy suit, then maybe next year we'll be a mummy for Halloween. Yeah. All right, let's unwrap another one. Here we go. Mummy bottoms, baby. Woo. Slap those on. Yes. Come on, mummy hat. Where is it? Mummy hat. No. There, there he goes. There he goes. I'll take either one of these. Yep. Vampire top. Oh, sweet. Okay. Well, that'll work out too. We have the cape, but we don't have the bottom. Let's put that on. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. We've got three more bags here. I'd like to get a complete suit if possible. A complete costume. <laughs> and the last bag. Can we get a complete costume? I don't know. Let's try it. Three, two, one. Crush your fingers, crush your toes, crush your eyeballs, crush your mud flaps, cross anything that you can cross. Stop! Freeze! Ah! I already have one of those. Well, I guess that's it for the bags. Well, what do you think? I'm a half vampire, half mummy, so I guess I'm a, a mumpire? Or maybe a, a vampire me? I don't know. Anyway, let's check out the gun. I do like the gun, I gotta say. With the cobwebs on it, and also the uh, military knife, which I do use quite an often. Uh, so, alright, well that's not too shabby, but you know what I'm thinking? I'm going back upstairs. I'm gonna go see if there's any more gift bags. I don't... Uh, I want a whole suit. Whole costume. Hold on, I'll be right back. You stay right there. I'm gonna go talk to somebody about this. <laughs> <laughs> I got the mummy hood. It's amazing. Oh, this is so excellent. So now I have a costume for next year. Anyway, all right. Yeah, this cost me an arm and a leg. I got it from Doc Ernie, the mad scientist. Yeah, he wants me to investigate some kind of soul crystal and some bone. I, I don't even know. Anyway, he wrote it all, all down for me. I don't understand. All right, I'm going to bed and uh, wake up in the morning. We'll get all organized and we're going to get out of here. How do I get in my bed? Cliff, my bed doesn't work. Mm, fix it. Mm. Psst. Rise and shine, buddy. It's time to get up. Sun is up, and so are you. 
And we're all done doing the Halloween stuff. I just love Halloween and I hate letting it go. But uh, anyway, fall in. Let's go. We have an important mission to, to undertake today. It's going to be very dangerous, Cliff. So we may not see you again. But anyway, thanks for letting us bunk with you. Goodbye. Hey, P. Rizzo. I got something for you. We're going to sell P. Rizzo the Steely Wheelie Automobile. We don't really need it. There you go, my friend. And look at that. 874 experience. My gosh. That's from doing all those missions. All right, take care, pal. We'll see you around. Why don't you come by Tomsk Farm and visit, all right? All right, adios. And now, let's head up to the deck and boogie. Actually, no, wait, one more thing. we got to stop in and see Doc Ernie, the, uh, the mad scientist. He wants to show us something. He said there's a skull over here, right? He wants to take the skull and investigate Soul Crystal. That's what he said. So let's do it. He wants us to take the pick, uh, cursed pirate skull off the... The, uh, the scale here. All right, I got it. All right, I will go check out that soul crystal thing you told me about. So, uh, all right, I'll report in another time. <laughs> so apparently there's some clues about the soul crystal thing um, at the rock formation right near our own Tomsk farm homestead. We're going to go investigate that. There's some kind of a symbol on the rocks there. And it's the same symbol that can be found out in St. Petersburg in the, um, in the tunnels, in the uh, subway. And it's also on the key card that um, Doc Swanson gave us, the, uh, the Scorpion 7 key card. So that's something we're going to look into today. Now, Annie is all set to go. I don't think we need to do anything over here on the Liberator. Oh, actually, let me just skill up a little bit here. 874 points to spend. Let's just max all this stuff here. Okay, hop in, Annie, and let's go. We're going to go straight home, get reorganized yet again. And then we're going to investigate this soul crystal thingamabob. Bing! This is your captain speaking. We are approaching our final destination, Tomsk Farm. So hold on to your butts. All right, trying to get on that road there. There we go. Nice! Good landing! Stop! Air brakes! Just jump out. Best way to stop the thing. <laughs> All right, here we are, safe and sound in one piece. And, oh, let's go check out that, uh, before we do anything... Before we do anything, let's go check out this rock formation that Doc Ernie was telling me about. All right, here it is. Kind of like Stonehenge, isn't it? Very, very creepy and ominous. And let's go inside. Here it is. There's the symbol. Oh, oh, there's a note. That note wasn't here before. I don't think. But that's the symbol that we saw down in St. Petersburg in the subway. And it's also on the Scorpion 7 key card that Dr. Swanson handed us. Hmm, so yeah, Scorpion 7 up to some kind of strange, mysterious, weird stuff. Uh, let's see if this note sheds any light on this. Kilroy's Journal. Fascinating. Once we cracked the first several symbols, the rest came very easily. From what we can tell so far, these etchings seem to be a recording of the tribe's history. Of particular note is this large faded icon. It's composed of runes, representing night time. Whispers, a harvest, and what they describe in the text as a soul crystal of immense power activated by some sort of ritual. It was, a, it was so powerful that even the most pure-hearted exposed would gradually be swayed to ruthless ambition. After a horrible incident, the tribes were forced to unite and fracture it, each secretly encasing a piece in stone such that no one person should know the location of all the fragments. The tribe buried their part in a tomb guarded by their spirit ancestor Anastasia. I'm interested to see if we can find this relic. However, I'm sure it was purely of superstitious or traditional importance. Ooh, interesting. Now that is a lot of data to swallow. But here's what we're going to do. I'm going to head down to the farm and I'm going to bring up Google and I'm going to Google some of these words and maybe look up this tribe, this ancient tribe that lived here in Russia. Where's my farm? Uh, yeah, down here. And then uh, we'll see what we can what we can discover on the interwebs. Whew, well then, thank goodness for smartphones and Wikipedia, am I right? <laughs> yes, indeed, I'm right. Uh, so, I, I did some research on the Soul Crystal, and it turns out I now have more questions than I have answers. But at least I have a lead or two, and we are ready to rock and roll. I've already gotten organized for this trip, too, so uh, fall in, let's go. We don't have much time, it's already... Uh, probably midday and we have a lot to do so first things first let's bring up the map 
and let's talk about the plan. So we're going to head over to, to Zavad first because we need, well, ammo, ranger ammo would be nice as well as explosives. And I'm pretty sure we can get them there. And we're going to need the explosives to make a horde beacon because apparently this soul crystal needs to be fed. And that's what that note said about harvesting, right? It needs to harvest souls. And that will uh, it'll open some kind of a gateway somewhere or something. And I think that's probably where that uh, symbol is in St. Petersburg. But anyway, I digress. First things first, Zavad. Let's go. I'm driving. All right, here we are. Zavad's a tank manufacturing. And all we have to do is set her down, get inside, and oh, prop looks good. Just wanted to check. Okay, now we're ready. And by the way, I've got my Bulldog and my Yuri here, which we're not going to use. Not right now. We're going to need it later. So I think what we're going to do right now is just try to use our bayonet if we can. Don't need a military knife. Again, we're on the lookout for raw explosives and ammunition. Got any ammo? Nope. Draft. Oh, oh yes. Ranger ammo. Thank goodness we need that. Pop, pop. Anything? Bulldog. Okay, well, let's strip it down. Stripped and salvaged. Now, this stuff is nice, but what I really need is explosives. Explosives. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Whoa! Hey! Oh, dang it! Uh, I did not want to shoot. I panicked. Here they come. Here they come. All right. Climb up. Get up. Get the height. Height advantage, and then poke them. Come up here. Safety of this tank. <laughs> hey, this is kind of nice. Should have done that to begin with. One shot to call him in and then poke him. Let's check the office. Oh, hello? Oh, darn. Red smoke. What's this then? Ooh, a tactical laser. Well, that's pretty sweet. Well, I can't put it on this because I've already got the bayonet there and the tactical attachment slot. But we can use that on another gun. Yeah, Shnei Prushki. What's this then? Oh, another Yuri mag. Very good. It's got a few rounds in it. Come on, somebody must have some explosives. Which one of you in charge of the demolitions around here, huh? Oh, 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 oh I think I see explosives. <gasps> yes! One raw explosive. But we need another. We're going to need two to make this horde beacon. <gasps> Let's keep looking. What the? <gasps> it's a cursed pirate bone inside the tank. Hey! Doc Ernie told us to be on the lookout for these things. Cursed bones, he said. All right, let's get up here on the train. And, ooh, a spec ops break. Do I have one of those already? I think I do. I've got the backpack. That'd be nice. I'll go together. Bants on the ground. Yuri mag. That's kind of sweet. Does this mean I'm going to have to go to the military site? Which isn't a terrible loss because, well, it's a military site. We could use some more ammunition Okay, well, let me just get organized here and dump some of this stuff out, get all these magazines together, and then uh, and they'll roll out. All right, that about does it. Woohoo, got lots of ammo now. Excellent. Okay, let's go. You ready? Good, I'm driving. Hold on, here we go to the Volk military base. Let's see if we can find one more explody device. Oh, there's a guard stationed out front, so we can't get too close to the gate. Oh, it's two of them. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on right here. And looks good. And, yep, props still in good shape. Excellent. Okay, in fact, I think I'm going to just fill her up real quick. Top her off here. All right, let's just slip right in here all quiet-like. And, oh, my. Ooh, we got some goodies here. Horizontal grip. Teklovka we don't need. Another Yuri mag with some ammunition in it. We have a Snaperska sniper rifle. I thought we had one of those, but we didn't. We do now, of course. <laughs> military top. Military knives. Military knives. You know, let's just snatch a couple of those for the metal. But once again, we're looking for the red stuff. Looking for TNT. TNT in the closet. Perfect. Hey, buddy, I can use some ammo. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy does it there, feller. Smokes. Well, we have enough ammo to accomplish our task today, and I think we should get going. We have to do it at night, according to the uh, Wikipedia page on the Soul Crystal, to open up that, uh, that wall where the symbol is, a secret 
chamber. So we should probably get going. I gotta go make this, um... I'm gonna make up the, um... Horde Beacon first. So we're gonna run back to the farm real quick, whip that up, and then get to St. Petersburg. Okay! Easy as pie! Hop in! I'm driving! Uh-oh! Sun's going down! We gotta hustle! Alright, let's get this thing put together. I got everything we need. Metal sheets, metal bars, some explosives, blowtorch, and some chemicals, and this should work. Uh, yeah, hold on, I think I got this. Come on over here for a sec. Alright, does that look right to you? Looks good to me, let's do it! And check it out! Horde beacon! Woohoo, we did it! Okay, I put the blowtorch away, put the gun in the hands, and put it away, and now, now we can go! I think we can go. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do this at night. We don't have much time. To St. Petersburg now. Now let's see if we can open up this secret chamber to the soul crystal. Take one more step to solving this zombie apocalypse. And potentially finding some kind of a cure. I want to set it all right. Alright, here's St. Petersburg and I do believe that right there is the subway opening. So let's, uh, let's park it right outside of town. Now looks good. Ooh, that was closer than I thought. I think we have everything we need. I got the horde beacon. We got plenty of guns and ammunition. Uh, I've got the key card just in case that comes into play. And all we have to do is get over to that symbol, which we saw. Oh, so scary down here. Which we had seen the last time we were down here, quite some time ago, right? Let's see if we can locate it again. I know it's down here somewhere. Don't remember exactly. Keep moving, keep moving. Illuminati graffiti. That's an interesting symbol, but it's not what we're after. We're looking for the... Uh, the Anastasia symbol. At least that's what I think it's called. I'll grab that wire. It might come in handy. Okay. Oh, oh, look, a generator. Nice. And a runner. Let's snatch that generator right up. Oh, there it is! That's the symbol! It's the symbol! Woo-hoo! Okay, so according to the wiki page, all we have to do now is utter the magic word of opening, and a secret chamber should be revealed. Huh? Ooh, are there zombies back there? I don't know, but uh, anyway, let's give it a try. Um, open sesame! Yeah, no, that's not it. Actually, that's not it. It's actually... Anastasia! <gasps> it worked! Oh, there it is! The soul crystal! Ooh, it's kind of purdy, isn't it? Don't get too close. We might want to eat your soul. But we want to feed it souls, but not our own souls. So let's get them zombies in here, shall we? But first, let's get our guns ready. I've got my bulldog on automagical. I got my Yuri on automagical. Although I want to take that, um, I'm gonna take that bayonet off and put on the red dot. Yeah, that'll be easy to shoot in such close quarters. And we're gonna put our back right up against the wall, and we're gonna call him right now. All right, Soul Crystal, get prepared to feed. I'm just gonna balance this right on top of you if you don't mind. Thank you very much. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, here they come! Here they come! Get ready! Oh, destruction zombie! Oh, did you see his soul? It's getting sucked into the crystal. That's one. Hello, come on, come get me, I'm inside! Oh, here they come, here they come. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Two! Three, th three, four, oh, spinner! No! Crawler! Uh, reload, quick, 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 quick! I think we should let him get a little closer. Oh, yeah, see? Didn't get that guy's soul, but... I don't want him to spin on us. There we go. Cop souls! Police souls! Destruction souls! Military souls! Oh, we're in! We're in! Ooh! What the heck is this? It's a laboratory of some sort. Of course it is. Scorpion 7, no doubt. Okay. Uh, where's my guns? My guns don't work. I can't bring it up. There's some malevolent force at work here. I can't raise my guns. Oh, I can I can throw fisticuffs, though. That's good. Oh, ooh, camera. Ugh. Somebody got squashed. Anyway, all right, let's go inside and check this place out. Hopefully we don't get attacked because I can't get my guns up. Uh, yep. Look at this, guys. Zombies. Zombies in the capsules here. We saw these in Washington at the Scorpion 7 facility, right? And uh, I think in Canada, too, if I recall correctly. All right, we don't want to mess with them. 
Looks like something bad happened here, obviously. We got blood stains on the floor, overturned chairs. Oh, 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 we got a note. Let's check it out. Hijack log. 1342. No positive response to our modified vaccine prototypes. It's adjusting too fast. If anything, they seem to be further mutating compared to the control. One is growing acid glands, another is generating electricity, and another even taking on fireproof properties. So they were actually creating zombies. This was no accident. So they made the electric zombie, the fire breather, and the spitter goo guy. Hmm. Oh, and the ground powder, I imagine, too, though it doesn't mention anything about that one in here. All right. Well, now we know, guys. Now we know who's behind the zombie outbreak. Scorpion 7, we're coming for you! Wherever you guys are, they haven't all been eaten already. <laughs> Find them sooner or later. Let's check down here. More blood stains, more cameras, more doors into other chambers. <gasps> What's this? It's a. Uh... Oh! Is that the skull? The cursed skull that we got from Doc Ernie? It looks like it. All right, memorize that, okay? Because it looks like this is important. <laughs> I don't know what the heck they were working on down here, but skull and bones. Can't get past there. Let's see if the oh. oh! All right, I don't get it. Is that another shard of the soul crystal? Or did they break one up and now they have two pieces? Because remember, there's more than one, right? Can't open. And they were hidden so that they would never be found. And guess who got one? Scorpion 7. Great. The worst people of all to get their hands on something so powerful. We have another note here. I can't believe we're rebooting this project. We've tried bombarding it with all kinds of radiation, electrifying it, blowing it up, but nothing. Still, if this is what they came here for, it must be important. And they do genuinely seem to think it will work if we can crack it. But personally, I'm starting to question whether maybe the extended cryosleep scrambled their brains. Huh? All right, more mysteries. More mysteries. I'm not sure who that note is from. I mean, I guess Scorpion 7, but I'm not sure. Seems like they were talking about maybe another party. Oh! 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 Oh, we're back! We're out! Oh, it sent us back out! No, wait! I wasn't done! Send me back! Oh! I gotta get another uh, horde beacon to get back in there. Darn! Yeah, I got this key card, and I want to try the key card. But uh, I guess we're gonna have to go back. Another horde beacon. I'm probably gonna have to collect some more bones too, like Doc Arnie said, right? He did mention lots and lots of bones to be collected. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna boogie. Get the heck out of Dodge. I'm done here. Let's do this quiet and save some ammo. And I think I can get right out this way, if I recall. Well, now we know who's involved in this zombie outbreak. <laughs> Not that that's any surprise, it was Scorpion 7. Oh, here we go, this is the way out. But at least now it is confirmed. Now if we can just find those responsible and bring them to justice. And if we can't do that, we can at least attempt to find some kind of a cure. Alright, looks like it's still nighttime. Reload my handgun. And let's get back to the farm. We have a lot of data to soak up here. And think about our next course of action. All right, we're here. I'm gonna park her right behind Annie on the road. And then get to bed. I am pooped. All right, settle down, settle down, Polly. There we go. And prop is still looking mighty fine. Oh boy, sun's already coming up. Okay, I need to get some shut eye and so do you. So why don't you head over to your room over there, get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Don't wake me up, I'm gonna sleep in. All right, so good night. I'll see you sometime around, oh, I don't know, maybe noon. Okay, good night.